welcome back to another video and we're going to start a new unit actually on multiplication and division and let's just get started off right away here like always uh, let's talk about something called an, ar an array and an array shows objects arranged in equal rows and you can use an array to multiply so to find two times three we can make an array of two rows of three and so just to clarify these are rows and these are columns okay so we have two rows of three and two times three two rows of three uh, is six and this is just a simple multiplication fact in a multiplication fact you multiply something called factors to get a product and so four times five equals 20 and so four and five are factors of 20 and 20 is a product so the answer when we multiply is called a product Doubling is a strategy you can use to multiply. And when I say doubling, when you double a number, you're multiplying it by two. Like if you want for a double cheeseburger, there's two ham, you know, hamburger patties and a double cheeseburger. Doubling is that word is multiplied by two. And let's look at three ways you can use doubling to multiply. The first way we're gonna look at is using doubling to multiply by four. This is an example four. And to find four times nine, well, first I could find two times nine and then double it. So I have an array of two rows of nine and that if I was to add them all up or no, two times nine is 18. If I do that twice, if I double that idea and when I say double this whole array and I times that by two, which gets me another one, I can add these 18s together and that's where we have 18 plus 18. Sorry if that's really hard to read equals 36. So. Uh, four times nine is 36 because I have four rows of nine. I can use something called repeated doubling to multiply by eight. And if you don't, if you can guess, repeated means over and over, and we're gonna keep doubling until we find the answer. So if I needed to find eight times eight, and I don't know that fact, well, maybe I know two times eight equals 16. Well, if I double it and then double it again, so two times eight is 16, two rows of eight. Well, if I double that, I have four times eight, four rows of eight uh, is 32 because the 16 here plus the 16 here equals 32. And if I know that, then I know that these two must be 32. This all must be 32 because that's the same thing as four rows of eight. And so if I think, well, if this equals 32 plus this 32 down here, 32 plus 32 is 64. So therefore, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 rows of 8 is 64. So again, the point is, do something you know, keep doubling it until you get to where you want to go. All right, the third strategy is begin with a fact that you do know, and double one of the factors, then multiply. You, you, you might know two times three is six. Well, you can double the factor two to get four. So so this two here, if we double it, and again, doubling is times it by two, two times two is four. If I times that by two, that gives me this four. Four times three is 12. So if this doubles, this has to double. Six times two is 12. So no matter what, if I double a factor, the product will double. Um, on the other hand, I could have doubled maybe the three. Two times three is six. Well, if I do two times six, that equals 12. And hey, we have the same answer. So again, if you don't know something, double what you, you know, double something you do know until you can get the answer you need. I'm gonna get you to try one. Four tourists can travel in one roller coaster car. How many tourists can travel in two roller coaster cars or four roller coaster cars or eight roller coaster cars? How do you know? So I'm going to need to pause that for a sec. Tr puzzle this out. How many tourists can travel in two, four or eight roller coaster cars? Press play when you're ready to go. In the question, it says four tourists can travel in one car. So if I have tourists in this column and one car, four tourists can get one car. Uh, I can double. So I have four times two. There's two cars. One times two is two and four times two is eight. And hey, this doubled as well. 
so I know that in two roller coaster cars, eight tourists can go in there. Well, if I double again, I get a four. That two times a two, doubling, gives me a four, and that means that the product must double, so the answer is 16. It can, roll, it can ride in four roller coaster cars. And lastly, eight, this four is gonna multiply by two because it doubles, and that means this has to double. And if you don't know your 16 times tables, like most people don't know, you could just add 16 plus 16. It gets me 32, so the answer is 32. So in sentence form, how many tourists can travel in two roller coaster cars? Um, eight tourists can travel in two roller coaster cars. 16 can travel in four roller coaster cars. And 32 tourists can travel in 30, in sorry, in eight roller coaster cars. And so that's the end of our lesson. So we're, you know, this happens every day. I mean, you might not be traveling in roller coaster cars a lot or counting tourists in roller coaster cars, but just this idea of doubling, maybe you have a teacher that likes to do those mad minutes or your, your time for multiplication. You don't know some of the higher ones like the eight times tables. Um, any of those even times tables, they, you, if you know your twos very well, you can keep doubling to get to the answer you need. I mean, it might be a little bit slower than memorizing it, which I do recommend memorizing, but you know, it's a way, it's a strategy to get the answer. Okay. So please remember in life, math happens. Take care guys. Okay.